do not be afraid. This is all cruelty free and vegan. And also delicious. Don't ask me why I was licking it. Nearly blinded me, I tell you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming back if you are a reoccurring subscriber. And if you have just found me and you want more of this juicy content, then please welcome and don't forget to subscribe because I will be bringing you festive treats all throughout December, I hope, vegan God willing. So it'd be really great to see you come back here again. So today you might have already gathered by the title of this video, I will be making vegan egg eggnog. Now I have a bit of dis a disclaimer here. I have never tried non-vegan eggnog and I have never tried vegan eggnog either. So I have done a bit of research like always and I have come up with a recipe that I have not yet tried and tested. <laughs> Should have probably done that but I don't like to keep using loads of ingredients and then you just have loads of waste so I have come up with a recipe that I hope is like non-vegan eggnog um, but vegan <laughs> I'm not very convincing right now am I um, essentially what I've noticed is eggnog is a custard with alcohol it uses egg yolks which are gross um, it's quite thick and it has festive spices So this is what we're trying to recreate today. Okay, folks Let me explain once again my um, festive jumper by the anti-carnist um, Please check her out. She's wonderful. And then if you've noticed this bandana making another appearance this is um, This was mentioned in my eco-friendly video eco-friendly Christmas video and um, it was actually gift wrap once upon a time for some Lush products and now I use it as a hair tie to demonstrate perfectly how using headscarves etc etc other pieces of fabric are great for wrapping presents so please check that video out if you want more festive be beverages I have created a hot chocolate video and I have created a vegan Bailey's video the two would go very well together so watch them at your leisure and then do what you wish with the information. Shall we crack on with the video? Great. So I will go through the ingredients as I'm using them and I will list the quantities below as per usual. Now we have a very hot plate here at the moment. Welcome back my friend, the portable hob. He's smoking right now, smoking hot. And I'm gonna just actually turn him right down and put my pot on there. Do you like my second hand pot? I'm sure my pot's a second hand. I love a thrift. I love a vintage second hand find. I'm just gonna take you down a bit, I think. That's better, isn't it? Oh, I almost forgot. My Christmas jumper shimmy. I'm sorry for the fans out there that love I'm sorry for the people that love the Christmas jumper shimmy. Here we go. How was that? Okay, let's crack on. So again, very much like the um, vegan hot chocolate video, the base of this drink is going to be homemade soy milk. I did explain in the last eggnog um, hot chocolate video that I make my soy milk from scratch. There we are. But if you want to use something like almond milk in this recipe or shop-bought soy milk, that's absolutely fine. Eggnog does actually have amaretto in, the um, famous um, almond-flavoured um, alcoholic beverage. So if you want to use almond milk in this, then that could work really well. I have got soy milk today because that's what I had in the fridge. Um, so use that use whatever you want as long as it's not cow's milk okay thank you I should probably also mention that this recipe is non-alcoholic but if you want to add alcohol that you enjoy to this 
then feel free. I'm not here to judge that, I'm just here to give you ideas. So, there in goes the milk. Now, we are gonna now try and create a vegan custard with, with oomph, okay? So, to this, I'm gonna add from my huge pot of cinnamon that I've had for about two years because I don't get through this stuff fast enough, is some cinnamon. There we are. That is beautiful. Then to this, I'm gonna add a pinch of, a very small pinch, because nutmeg is quite pungent. So we've got a tiny pinch of nutmeg. I think I've mentioned already, I'll list the ingredients below. Then for the golden um, egg color, or non-egg colour that we want. The golden eggnog colour, non-eggnog. We'll call this non-eggnog. There we are. A tiny pinch of turmeric. You don't want too much turmeric because you don't want the flavour of turmeric and you don't want it to be bright orange. You just want it to be a subtle yellow. Um, so I'm going to give that a whisk with my mini whisk. and it's already smelling absolutely stunning. Now, to thicken this, I have created something called a cornflower slurry, and that is not anything to be afraid of, okay? Basically, all it is, is cornflour mixed with a bit of water so it blends into the hot milk easier. Otherwise, you might get thick and lumpy um, cornflour if you add it straight as a powder. So you create something called a cornflower slurry, which is essentially just corn flour and water. And that is gonna thicken our eggnog, okay? And now all we're gonna do is heat this through. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of almond in place of the amaretto I am not using in this recipe because it does replicate the flavor really well. And a tiny bit of vanilla, okay? I have sweetened the soy milk slightly because I knew I was going to be using it in a sweet recipe. You can do that with agave or you can use any liquid sweetener in this. If you think your, your soy milk or almond milk or anything needs any more sweetness, then feel free to add more sweetness. But I am not going to in this recipe. I think I will add more, a little more turmeric though because I do want this be a nice yellow colour. So we're just going to let that thicken and we'll see how that goes. And then we're going to move on to the frothy topping that um, eggnog possesses, okay? Do not be afraid. This is all cruelty free and vegan and also delicious. So I'm just waiting for this to thicken now, but it did occur to me while researching this recipe that you could actually use vegan custard powder. All custard powder generally is vegan, as long as it's not instant, because that tends to be mixed with like milk and stuff. But Bird's custard powder and um, other shop's own custard powders that you add milk to are vegan. All they are is corn flour, and um, a bit of colouring. So this is essentially all we're using here. But if you have custard powder at home and you don't have corn flour, then by all means use custard powder because that would work well as well. Even better still, to make it super, super easy, you could just water down some vegan custard um, and add some spices and stuff, your alcohol of choice, and um, then you've again got a replication of non-eggnog the eggnog so non-eggnog okay so there are a couple of ideas for you if you don't think that your um eggnog is thick enough either just add some more um corn flour but you've got to get the heat through it look at my yellow finger i look like a 500 year smoker um i am not i don't smoke but 
I look like one at the moment with my dyed fingers. So I think we're just going to take this off the heat now, set it aside because I have another trick up my sleeve. Although this was inspired, this idea. And I'll tell you how in a sec. Does anyone remember stars in their eyes? Are you old enough? Or I look like a witch in our cave. <laughs> Tonight, Matthew. So let me explain the topping of our eggnog here. I have been kindly sent by the brand Oggs, which are the famous aquafaba aka egg white substitute company a recipe card along with some of their ogs aquafaba cartons now i haven't followed their um eggnog recipe but what i am going to do is i'm going to copy their topping recipe for the eggnog so you see that froth on top that's what i want okay also look at my uh bling there that's my capricorn ring that my dad got me one year for my birthday because i am a cappy baby on the cusp the 22nd of december don't all rush it once to send me presents <laughs> it's all right i've had joint presents for years a christmas birthday is like a lockdown birthday every year don't feel sorry for me i just i just don't have much sympathy for people that had to have a lockdown birthday this year so, I'm going to put in here, if I can work out where everything goes, I'm going to put the aquafaba in here, okay? And then what I'm going to do, that's what it looks like when it's in the thing. I'm going to get a milk frother and I'm going to sit here and whisk up the aquafaba. Now, my hand whisk broke the other day, so I sat there for about an hour whisking aquafaba with a coffee frother. It wasn't a huge success. It was better than doing it with my fingers, I guess. So you can see how quickly it froths up. This is real time here. And I just want it to get like a bit more frothy than that. So I'll keep doing it with the uh, milk frother and we'll see how it turns out. So it's getting some small peaks on it now, I don't know if you can see that there. Can you see that? It's sort of dragging up a little. But I do want it a bit more frothy than that. The thing is, we want this to sit on top of the drink so we can make it look pretty. And that's not going to happen if it's not thick enough. It needs to be thick. You know what, we'll see how that goes. I think we're ready to serve up our eggnog now. How quick was that? Lots of recipes I found, like made the milk out of cashew nuts and everything, and I find that quite an expensive way to make a drink. So the reason I've done it this way with soy milk, that is thickened, um, is because you can buy soy milk so cheap now. Um, so, I am trying to be budget friendly. I had all the ingredients in this house as well. The reason I'm not using amaretto in this is because A, I don't really drink. And as I mentioned all the time, sorry. Um, and B, I didn't have it in the house, so I just didn't want to use it. Um, I'm gonna pour this into glasses now and um, we'll see how it looks, shall we? Holy shit, I just, Turned on the milk frother while I was licking it. Don't ask me why I was licking it. 
but whatever was in it splurted out all in my face. Nearly blinded me, I tell you. So here we are. I have two wee glasses of um, eggnog here. Sorry, just getting a wire out of the way. Um, and I'm gonna top it now with, oh, I left over there, why, why? Going to top it with um, the aquafaba. Because I used, um, oh, that really is quite thick. Um, it has separated a little, the aquafaba, but that's because I didn't actually whisk it um, properly. You do need to whisk it properly, but for the purpose of this experiment, it's whisked the top, as you can see, of this, and it's created a nice little um, foamy addition. Can you see that there? That is beautiful. Look at that. I'm really happy with that. Can you see that? Brought you up here again, I hope you don't mind. But look at that. Super impressed with that. It's got a nice golden colour, nice foamy topping. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna give it a try. Now I've already stated I don't actually know what eggnog tastes like. However, that is a really acceptable beverage. If you wanted to sweeten the aquafaba on top because you're sensitive to the taste of chickpea water, which essentially that's what aquafaba is, um, then I would suggest doing that with a bit of powdered sugar or something, you know, like icing sugar. But I'm okay with it. And I think this is a really enjoyable festive tipple. If you were to serve little glasses like that at a party one day whenever we may have them again, um, you can still have a party at home on your own and if you wanted to serve your eggnog in little glasses like that as, li as like a little after dinner aperitif or a pre-dinner drinks welcoming, you could add alcohol to that and that would be a smashing little addition to your celebrations. Um, I'm really happy with that. It didn't cost a lot of money to make. I had all the ingredients at home. Um, don't forget, you can buy Oggs in Sainsbury's. I've seen it there last night. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this, guys. Um, I do suggest you give this a go because it's not an offensive drink at all. It's almost like a chai latte just with festive bells and whistles on because that is the spirit of this time of year, bells and whistles. Thank you again for watching. I muddle through these recipes, I know, and I know it probably doesn't fill you with much hope that I haven't tested most of them out before I make them. But um, as you might know, I do like experimenting in the kitchen and I enjoy bringing you this content. So if you liked this video, please like it below, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, um, and um, until next time, when I bring you another festive delight, stay safe folks, keep being merry, and give these a go. I have my vegan Bailey's recipe, I have my vegan hot chocolate recipe, these are all options for you. They can all be alcoholic, they can all be non-alcoholic, so... Don't forget to give me a shout out on Instagram if you make anything that I have demonstrated here and I'll see you soon guys. Much love. Peace out.